friends here in this video we will see a problem on calculation of deflection for a beam here is the question whatever is given i'll write that in the form of data by reading the problem it is given that a cast iron beam 40 mm wide so b width is 40 mm and 80 mm deep depth is 80 is simply supported on a span that is the length of the beam which is 1.2 meter so it is 1200 mm the beam carries a point load of 15 kilo newton so i'll write down w as 15 kilo newton so 15 into 10 raised to 3 newton at the center find the deflection at the center so we have to find out why that is the value of deflection at the center. Take capital E, that is Young's modulus for the beam material, 108 into 10 raised to 3 Newton per mm square. Now, this is the question we have. So, to let us try to get the solution to this problem. Now, in the solution part, first I will draw the diagram. It is given that the beam is simply supported having point load at the center load value is 15 into 10 raised to 3 Newton then since the load is acting in, at the center the total distance is or the total span is L is equal to 1.2 meter so here this distance will be 0 0.6 meter 0 0.6 meter or I can say 600 mm and 600 mm on both the sides because the length is of 1200 mm next for this simply supported beam we have to find the deflection at the center that is a question and even the cross section is given the cross section of this simply supported beam is rectangular having width B as 40 and depth is 80 mm. So here is the rectangle cross section. having width B as 40 mm, depth D as 80 mm. Now, after completing this, as we have to find out the maximum deflection, first I'll write the formula for such a case that since for a simply supported beam, having point load at the center that deflection is called as maximum deflection maximum deflection is given by the formula is i'll call this point as yc so y suffix c that is a deflection here minus wl cube upon 48 ei keeping this as the first equation now here we have w value we have capital l only unknown is the value of i e is also given so i is the moment of inertia about the horizontal axis so i'll write down Therefore, Mi that is moment of inertia about horizontal centroidal axis it is given by I is equal to Bd cube by 12 that is Ix6. So, therefore, 
I value comes out to be B is 40, D is 80. So 40 into 80 cube divided by 12. And that is 1.71 into 10 raised to 6 mm raised to 4. Now after getting I, I'll say that therefore put all values in equation number 1. So we have y suffix c is equal to minus w it is 15 into 10 raised to 3 into length l that is 1200 so 1200 cube divided by 48 48 e is given as 108 into 10 raised to 3 and i is 1.71 into 10 raised to 6. So if I calculate all terms here, my y suffix c value comes out to be minus 2.93 mm. And therefore I can say yc is equal to the maximum deflection that is 2.93 mm. Since it is negative, it means the deflection is acting in the downward direction. And so in this question, we have found out the value of maximum deflection and with this we complete the problem.